On this right here today, we have been lucky enough to get the Artillery M1 Pro. I've been excited for this printer to come out. I'm very excited for my Elevue Centauri Carbon. I actually got a couple of them, but I didn't get them early enough that I wanted to do an unboxing video. Everyone else had done one. Uh, I got this printer early enough that I'm hoping there will be some interest in doing an unboxing. Now, after you watch this video, I will be continuing to shoot other videos. If you have questions, put them down in the comments. We'll go through and I will take a look at comments and I will go through and try to answer questions as I continue to use this on a regular basis and shoot some review videos and hopefully answer some of your questions. But for now, let's get in here and see what it actually is like in here and see what we've got in the box. This is my first time of taking a look in the box with you. On this right here, I'm going to slide it down just a little bit. I want you to be able to see how they've packaged it. As we've come through, they have the corners that are secured. They've got some bubble pack right here um, for protection. Some of the other 3D printers I've got have done a little bit better job of packing padding over the top. But this seems pretty good. I, I have no complaints with it. Seems secure. Uh, let's see how it looks when we get into it. The corner pieces and the corner pieces that have actually been reinforced with some plastic so it's not just the styrofoam. And I'll clean the mess up here in a second, but we'll just slide it over. And we're starting with our uh, artillery instruction booklet. It'll hopefully go through here and it gives us a, a guide. This right here will tell us a little bit what we're doing, a quick guide to be able to, to take a look at it and to be able to set it up. Looks fairly good there. Then we've got a pamphlet right here that's just the production manual, the product manual. Uh, that'll be useful as things as we progress along also. Now before I lift this out, instead of trying to lift it too high, I'm going to lift the box down to the ground and from there. Now if this is very heavy in doing it, I will end up asking for help, but it doesn't seem to be too bad. I'm going to see if I can't just lift the plastic out and just lift the box up. We have more of this padding. Bubble wrap seems to be fairly good. They've done a good job with it. And then in the bottom, just more of the corner foams there, which are fairly good. And then I'll just use the box. Here's the garbage can as I... As we're going, it seems to look up fairly much just like that. Every other X1 bamboo clone. I will probably speed this up when I before I put it on, so you're not going to have to go through and see me do all of this. So far seems fairly good. Now on this right here, one of the things I like is every place they put plastic that are tape, the tapes come down and edged onto where there's been plastic. So I haven't had any of that sticky residue from the plastic that can be extremely fun to deal with. And if we go through and take a look at reading our manual, it tells us cut these straps. So that's what we're gonna do. So I just have a couple of clippers here it's easy for me to go through and clip this.
once I do that, and I get it comes out padding fairly well. Oh, it's got a really nice uh, sample. This will just show you what uh, you can get as far as film that's going color wise. Now, this right here does not have the AMS system with it, but it is obviously set up to have an AMS system or CFS system, depending if you're dealing with the Creality or the Mambo. But that looks cool. I've got these with uh, like my Creality one. That way, if you're ordering film, it, that can be nice. Uh, this is awesome. If you go in through and take a look at your Elegoos, I got not even enough to, to uh, print a Banshee, and they've given me an entire roll. That's awesome. Even going to my Creality, they gave me partial rolls. And they gave me multiple because I had the, the CFS with it, had two of them. But this, this is awesome. That's a welcome change. And then I've got a bag of parts right here. This seems to be pretty standard. We'll open that up in a second and see what's in it. Go through here and take a look. What next thing? Next thing it's going to do is cut the off of the head here. And then it's got some screws it wants me to undo. And then it's wanting me to hook up the actual monitor, the, the touch screen. And then it's wanting me to put the handle on for the filament and plug the thing in. And then it's for running some tests. So we'll start with cutting this off right here. Take this right here. I'm just going to come in a little bit closer to the actual. Right here is where I'm actually cutting this off. We have three bands that are on there. We're pulling off. And if we come in here and take a look at the actual build plate, the build plate is where they had the strap. And you got these, they were criss, crisscrossed straps all the way around that strapped that whole thing in. But I'm able to just pull it down. Now they've actually taken, and on the bottom right here, we have padding all the way on the bottom of that to make sure that it's not, uh, and then there are some screws in here that it's telling us we've got to take out. And they've got some really nice arrows there that are pointing to the screws. So it's easy to see where we're taking the screws out. Uh, but let's take this off the head here and take a look at where, what this looks like. It's not a bad looking little printer head. This right here, you go through here and you got your poop chute. We've got our build plate. The next thing it's telling us to do, we got those screws at the bottom. It's telling us to pull those screws off. And it'll, I'm guessing here in this box, I'll bet we find the tools to be able to do that along with the touch screen. Before I go much further though, I just want to sort of take a look at the, you got the, the door. It comes open and closes fairly well. Get this plastic off of here. I think it's a handsome looking machine. And I'm going to rotate the back side here. I like this. You still have plastic here that can be pulled off. That's a good looking two-tone color. The grays there. Seems solid. Come to the back. Back right here looks pretty good. I love the fact that you've got the tube coming in right here. I don't like them when you have to put the tube on the back. Um, I like the fact that I can put the this right here. Well, that's cool. Look at that. You open up this ventilation system, and it actually magnetically, magnetically adheres. You want to shut it magnetically closes. Now this is a filtration your fan system, which will make a difference if you're running PLA or if you're gonna be running something that you want to keep uh, the exhaust towards an internal exhaust. But uh, that's actually really, uh, really cool the way they did that. We'll move this filament out of the way. We'll use it in a second and get this. So we have more plastic on this side. Right here, you've got the screw holes where we'll obviously be screwing in where we put the, the 
holder for the filament. Well, that, that looks like a good looking little machine. Now we just hope it operates as well as it looks. So it's got padding, fairly standard. You got your holder right there. We got some tools to use right here. Um, just looks like we got some extra parts right here. I, I love it when they do that. I don't know exactly what that's for yet. We got the wrenches that we need. We got a, a, a extra uh, a blade. Looks like it's a blade we'll be using for printing a scraping knife. Uh, it's on there. An extra scrubber for when it's scrubbing. You got some metal grease. Our power cord that'll become important. And then our monitor, which we'll be getting to in a second. But let's start with going through and taking out the screws it's telling us to. It's the hex wrench right here it's saying to use. And I like the style of hex wrench. That should work pretty well. So I'll take you. So we got, that's the screw that comes out. bag. That goes right in there. And the next step is it's telling me to go ahead and put the, the screen on. So let's let's move to the next step. It's actually got some instructions on the back of this. Step one, step two, step three. And this right here, pulling this out. Plugging it in. That's pretty easy. That was slicker than slick. And then I just take it. It's got some knobs right here. Put it in. Slide it over. Tilts just a little bit. And it's got the screen protector on there. And then we're going to go through and we're going to turn it on. And then it tells us to screw the on. So this right here, they're literally just having a screw right here. We'll just take a screwdriver and screw that on right there. Turn it so you can watch what it is I'm doing. All that. So come through here and it gives us a couple of little screws. This is the number two screw pack. So it's got it labeled fairly good for us. This is the number two pack, and this is the number two pack. We open it up, it's got the two screws in here. And it's actually a hex screw, so the same screw that we use to take the others out. That screwed in there, and then it'll be easy to put our little filament right on there and two feet right into that. This right here it says pick the language, I'm gonna go English, Scanning, please wait. And now it's looking for uh, access to the Wi Fi. It looks like we now are connected to the internet. Next, start. Seems to be just fine. So you heard a small knocking sound, but that seemed to be good. This right here is just doing its self test. What I'm reading, it's supposed to lift that plate up now. 
So now the plate's lifting up. I should be able to get that styrofoam off from underneath. I think it's a good looking printer. Lid here. I'll put that lid on a little backwards, but. That looks good. Seems to be doing its thing okay. It's now doing the heating process. Then it'll do auto leveling and the DIB composition. In the meantime, I think I'm gonna find some filament that's already dried. Now this right here is a roll that's mostly gone, but it's enough I can mess around with. This is from my Creality. It seems to do fairly good. I'm gonna mess around with it really quick. There are a few reasons that I wanted this, this 3D printer. There are some materials that's going to have a need for a heated chamber, and this is supposed to have an active heated chamber. If we take a look at the rails that are in here, and it's gonna have some improvements on some things there. Is it really going to be any better than your bamboos? Uh, we'll compare it probably to a bamboo later on, and the Elegoo Centauri Carbon. But for me, getting a 3D printer for $300 is just unbeatable with the Elegoo. And this one right here, I know prices have gone up a little bit since I put my order in, but you're still looking at what? Under 400 bucks for a 3D printer of this caliber. Uh, I have high expectations. I want to like this printer. So we'll go through the next little bit and we'll beat it up a little. And I'm gonna, I'm gonna do some printing on there and see what we can get out of it. As we do that, comment in the video below. What is it you wanna see? What kind of tests do you want? I'll go through and I'll, I'll take videos of anything you want me to and we'll post them online and, and help you decide is this where you want to go or are you more in line to go with the Centauri Carbon or go with the bamboo? I'm going to probably cut this video at this point as the unboxing video and then I will hear shortly I'll have another video while we'll go through and we'll do some first prints. We'll show print the, uh, the little benchy. Uh, and then we'll print a couple other things on it and actually see where it goes from there. But we'll get you, get you another video short, shortly down the road that'll show some more on it. And so far, I'm impressed with what I see. It looks well made. It was well packaged. Um, they, I, I was a little worried when they, that they dropped it off. It very clearly on the box says, this direction up, keep this box paint up and I'm on the side. So I was a little worried, but it, uh, everything was packaged well enough that it did well with it, and it, it looks sharp. It's a, it's a good looking little printer. Anyway, if you want to follow us on this adventure, go through, subscribe, like the video, and uh, comment about any other questions you may have, and we'll go through and, and we'll put a handful of videos out on how to do it, and after we get a few hours on it, and and make a few projects, we'll give you an honest review. We'll tell you if we like it or if we're gonna stick with the Elevu Centauri. I've really enjoyed that. Or where, I mean, I've got the Creality K2 and I've really enjoyed that one. Um, Price-wise, this is, it's pretty hard to not at least take a good look at this printer. If, it's, if it does good, it'll be a good one. So, we'll catch you later.